you can see I've got a number of different points sitting over my drone image data here and they are all the same color which might be fine but depends on the application that you want them for so what I'd like to do is just to actually change their symbology so we can have a look at displaying them as different colors based on the different features that they are so let's go across over here to the table of contents and the first thing is that because I brought these data in as a CSV file what I'm going to need to do is to export them and so that I'm actually saving them as as a, a layer file within QGIS and that's going to allow me to perform some higher level analyses on them so I go across from export to save features as and I'm going to save them as as a shape file because I know that this is a format that is easily incorporated into a bunch of other software platforms so it's really good for interoperability. I'm going to find a file name that's appropriate to the data set that I'm using and then once I've done that I'm simply going to hit OK. So what you'll see now is over in the table of contents the new file is there but for all intents and purposes it looks pretty much the same. I can now go ahead and right click on the the original csv file there and and remove layer so i find this is good practice just just to tidy things up a little bit so anytime you've finished using a file you remove it it's not deleting it at all but it's just removing it from the project in which you're working you can always add it again later if you like now if i right click over on the layer in the table of contents i'll head down to properties and this is going to give me a few more options about how i display the data set so I could simply change the color that I'm using if that was what I wanted to do. But what I'd like to do is instead of using a single symbol, I'm actually going to change it based on some categorized information because I know that I've got information sitting behind each of those points. So the column that I'm going to use for this is the feature what is so it hasn't it's truncated that name there so the, the the full title of that particular field is what is the habitat type and then what we need to do is to head down to classify and now what you see is that's automatically populating this this interface here with the different types of habitats that we have in there. So we had dead coral, live coral, rubble and sand and the one that isn't named were our infrastructure features. So they didn't have any information within the habitat type because they've got information in the infrastructure field instead. So we can also have a look at this and, and decide whether or not we like those colors that are associated with those different features and if that makes sense because generally what we like to do is to use intuitive colors but if we want to leave that just as it is for the moment, we can hit OK and see how that looks. So we can see automatically in the table of contents, we've got some changes and we can see those colors pop up over here onto our map as, as well. So I can quite quickly see where my dead coral is with that little green dot. My live coral is that bluey purple and I have some some sand here and then one of these red dots which I know is the infrastructure is the bundle over here so I'm really happy that those are actually the features that are sitting underneath my points and also that I'm able to change the symbology based on something really simple like unique values.